There are currently 1.2 billion adolescents, more than at any time in human history. About 9 in 10 live in low- and middle-income countries. The need to address adolescent sexual and reproductive health effectively is increasingly front and centre. After suicide, pregnancy and childbirth complications are the leading cause of death among girls aged 15 to 19. AIDS is the second most common cause of death for adolescent girls and boys worldwide. With support from the William and Flora Hewlett Foundation, 3IE did a scoping project to find impact evaluations, analyze the supply of evidence, and identify where more is needed on critical sexual and reproductive health issues. Given that foundations have a bit more flexibility to fund um, things like scoping studies, we decided to um, put forth our funding as the initial funding for a scoping study uh, with 3AE with the hope that other donors may join us to fill the gaps in evidence that we're finding through the process. We like to make this a consultative process so the evidence mapping reflects current programming, current interventions, and theories of change. The evidence gap map includes impact evaluations and systematic reviews Impact evaluations use counterfactuals to tell us what's working to help adolescents. Many of our missions are desperate for information, they're desperate for evidence, and the more evidence that we can provide for them, the better able they are to advocate with governments, with NGOs, with partners around implementing effective approaches. Where we really could use impact evaluation is more on the enabling environment normative side. Is there, is there evidence that talks about sustainability of programming interventions? How did you handle uh, outcomes around gender and gender transformation? We got a lot of really great feedback that we're going to be able to feed into the scoping paper and uh, will help provide information for prioritizing future investments. One of the most powerful things for me, I think, was the discussion around the importance of investing in normative change. We haven't necessarily explored the norms and the social conventions in communities that limit or facilitate young people's abilities to act on information to make use of services that are there. There is an enormous potential with young people in uh, African countries and Asian countries to contribute to their own experience in life. And this is a critical experience as, as a big part of our lives and so um, we shouldn't skimp on this generation. We should try and understand what um, motivates adolescents and what makes them excited and, and try and design our programs and funding around it. 3IE's contribution is to catalog the evidence base, analyze trends, and to provide a tool that links the user to this evidence. This scoping study that Kristen and her team has been managing is really uh, the first step in hopefully putting together a funding window that would fund impact evaluation in the space. For more information on 3IE and scoping work, go to Publications and click on Scoping Paper Series.